That's all right. We're still going to talk about health and wellness. Okay. So um, the first thing that I want to talk about and something that I haven't really talked about openly on the show is that I have been on a keto diet now for about six months. I was on a keto diet for about six months. I started out at about 210, uh, 205 maybe. And I have lost, well, now I'm down about 165 pounds. So I've lost over 50 pounds on a keto diet. And I know about all the research. I know it's weak in my heart. I know I'm going to die tomorrow. But, um, <laughs> oh, wow. But, um, it has helped me lose a lot of weight. And I'm finally, 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 after six months going off the keto diet. So I'm going to go to a carb, uh, included diet, uh, but it's going to be more of a macro base and I'm going to be tracking it. Have on you, app. have you made your arrangements? Yeah, I have. Um, just bury me in the backyard. All right. Honestly, yeah. Get the backhoe. Oh, yeah. Yikes. <clears throat> I can it's ask my mom's to work die. if we can borrow it's, one. <laughs> it's too expensive to die, man. You just, just I don't know. You know, I, I'm sure that a lot of people out there can relate to me. Uh, you know, I've started diets and, you know, I've lost 30, 40 pounds at a time. And, um, you know, busyness of life, what being what it is, then I, you know, get off my diet and exercise program. And uh, then I just gained the weight right back. So, um, you know, it, it's hard. It's hard to uh, to to be healthy in this day and age when you can just uh, get in the car and and just go to go to Chick Fil A, <laughs> just go <laughs> to Chick Fil A, uh, get the yummy stuff going. You know, um, and it sucks. Dieting sucks. It okay, does. I don't like. Even while I was in the diet, I was saying, "Oh, it's not that bad. It's, it sucks." All right, it's terrible. It it's is awful. that bad. <laughs> you can't eat potatoes. You can't eat bread you can't eat noodles or pasta of any kind nothing it sucks it's terrible but the weight literally falls off you without you having to do anything and that's that's the really interesting thing is you know you have to find something that works for you that's uh that's maintainable exactly you know if if you uh if you can say all right well i'll have a snickers bar uh once every three days uh but other than that you know i'm gonna be yeah healthy. i mean yeah your your carb and calorie intake will be super low but um definitely not healthy i think there's a difference between being uh fit and being healthy for sure yeah um i think being healthy means you're eating healthy you know in my opinion i don't think grains in general are very good for you um but that's just uh something that i believe in something that i've seen in, on a couple articles is that grains are naturally bad for you and increase um your cancer chance and i have a I have a family history of heart disease and other like heart and uh, blood pressure problems. So grain for my family and for me uh, is not a good choice. Um, good morning, Robert Green. Hope you're doing well in the chat there. Um, but other people, it's whatever. And I do eat bread occasionally or whatever um, on sandwiches and stuff like that. But I'm I really I'm still even with my new diet, I'm trying to stay away from grains. So rice is it's kind of like where um, I draw the line. Um, and potatoes are great, obviously, as a substitute. But um, it's really uh, it's really about creating a sustainable diet because if you hate yourself and you hate your diet while you're doing it, it's <laughs> yeah. you're, you're gonna have a cheat day every other day. You know what I mean? And and I try to keep myself to a, a one or two cheat days a week. Um, but it's hard, man. On keto, towards the end there, I was like, I can't do this anymore. I have to have carbs. I'm so hungry. Like one of the things that worked for me when I was actually losing weight was uh, uh, there's a an app called My Fitness app. And uh, what it does is you can uh, count your macros, which, uh, you know, you put in your body statistics, your weight, your uh, size, inches and and all of that stuff. And then um, it calculates, you know, how many carbs, how many uh, fats and how many proteins uh, you can eat in a day. And, you know, for all of you guys who like meat out there, that's a great way to do it um, because, you know, to be honest, I was having to just – eat like three pounds of chicken oh. a day to I was just, just say, get you my know protein. Where, just get your protein. Oh my gosh. It was, it was crazy. What other people do is protein shakes and stuff like that. And I used to lift pretty regularly and that was kind of how I supplemented it. Cause there's, it's, it's hard to eat that much food when you're trying to gain weight um, or muscle in general. And they're like, Oh yeah, you need to eat like half of your, half of your body weight in grams of carbs um, or, or protein or something and like, I'm like, there's no way I would have to eat chicken all day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so it's protein shakes and stuff like that. And those have sugars in them and, and, uh, creatine and other stuff that's not great for you. So honestly, it's the diet that works and is the most healthy. I think that's probably the best for you. I think there's a lot of people that set up rules around their diets. And then, um, I know specifically in the beginning when I was on keto, I tried to stay as strictly to the rules as possible. But as I started to understand how my body was working, especially with the diet, I kind of could cheat more and figure out ways that I could be happier, I guess, um, on the diet. So 
health and wellness, honestly, I've been taking very seriously over the past, um, I don't know, probably six, seven months. And I can definitely tell my energy levels up. This back shield that I have on right now um, is the next step of my, um, you know, health and wellness. And that's getting better posture, which is going to increase, you know, better blood flow and, uh, you know, less lower back pain, all that kind of stuff. Um, and, and since we're talking about back shield, uh, Robert Green is in the chat and he just actually was in a pretty serious accident. And he said that his back shield saved his back and his wreck. So, um, I mean, I don't think that's the, the intended purpose whatsoever, but thank <laughs> God for back shield. Right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think health and wellness is something that w- I, I know for sure the normal person and we work in an office and a shop all day long. So it's not like, um, you know, it's not like we're sitting in a chair, um, all day long or like doing chains and, and, uh, unloading and loading trucks. So I can tell you now that back shield will probably help a driver more than it would us. Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, being able to keep your back in the natural position that it's supposed to be in, um, you know, helps to, uh, have it heal, uh, for sure. Um, so absolutely. That's another thing that drivers have a really hard time with though, is, is because they have a, um, it's either like feast or famine for them. They're either like outside, you know, uh, running chains, um, you know, uh, loading trucks and all that kind of stuff, or they're sitting in a, in a chair for 10 hours. Right. So it's kind of, I think that going back and forth and not knowing what's going on is really, uh, also really probably affects a lot of drivers health and, um, weight and other things. Um, and obviously we have to talk about the, uh, uh, the food, right? The food is one of the biggest things is food at truck stops. It's not exactly, uh, easy to find healthy options. It's right. hard. What we, uh, I, did you go to Iowa? Yeah. You went to Iowa. Okay. So yeah. we went to, uh, the Iowa 80 Jamboree this year and, uh, we ate at an iron skillet in there and iron, iron skillet. Um, some people don't like iron skillet, but I think it's pretty all right. Um, it was diff. It was, it's not an iron skillet in there. It's, it's, it's right. There's the, uh, the Iowa 80 version. Iowa right? 80 kitchen. That's right. Okay. Um, but they, uh, it's harder to find keto options in there for sure. Like as soon as we got to the line and the food was great in there. Um, so shout out to Iowa 80, but it was harder to find keto options because I think, um, or, or healthy options. Cause I think that's the food that's kind of tailored towards the drivers. They want that hearty stuff. Um, and so I think food is a big problem, um, for drivers. And that's why I think Travis's show is so important because you can cook for yourself in your truck. And I think we have hope online. Hello, hope. There we are. Okay, there she is. she's still getting in here. That's all right. Hey. We cannot hear you. I don't think we can hear you. You're That's deaf. All right. That's all right. <laughs> um, can you hear us yet, Hope? Oh, not sure why she's... Experiencing a, a few technical difficulties. We're getting her in here. I was going to say she's almost in here. Hmm. Hope, if you can hear us, we can't hear you. Yeah. Hmm. Is it coming up? Doesn't look like it. She might. Yeah. Oh, she, it looks like she gonna... got out of it and is going to try again. Sometimes okay. uh, the system does that where it doesn't, it doesn't like have it any sound yeah. or sometimes it won't have any video. One or the other. It likes to. You can you know, only have one. Yeah, Technology is <laughs> great when it works. Right. Exactly. 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 So, um, Maddie, have you tried any diets or anything like that? Um, Not necessarily um one thing that i've kind of tried to just do over time since i have like a really sensitive stomach um david knows that (laughs) but i just honestly try to eat like just make healthier options but not make like a whole bunch of rules about it because i find when i make it really strict like i just know myself better than that like there's no way i'll stick to that like i'm not i'm not the type of person that i'm gonna be like okay i'm gonna have chicken and green beans for dinner every single day like right i won't do that so just trying to like pick like have water instead of coffee some days like yeah. i just won't let myself nothing go to wrong get coffee. with coffee as long as you drink it black yeah well i don't well, madison <laughs> drinks madison drinks this <laughs> diabetes filled my coffee sugar is white Starbucks. although hope would tell you that you have to drink like five mm. glasses of water for each cup of coffee see and that's oh my god that's i think that's true because coffee like dehydrates you apparently and so you're supposed to like every heard, yeah. like every ounce or something or every cup of coffee you're supposed to drink seriously like six cups of water i, I definitely I think, don't do that i think i drink <laughs> negative three glasses of water yeah, i was yeah, gonna say if that's coffee, the case we coffee. are all gonna die yeah um i drink at least I don't know, two or three a day. So I'm negative. I mean, a lot. yeah, this one probably has like two cups in it. At least I would say it's a yeah. large, a large, large cup. Large, is that a venti or whatever? Yes. A venti. But 
Yeah, but I mean, as far as just uh, like I just try to incorporate healthier options, like and also cooking for myself more. I'm really yeah. bad about going out to eat or like just snagging by Chick Fil A or wherever, you know. Yeah. Again, and like just grabbing that's something. Me. So I'm really just try. I try to just cut that out when I'm watching stuff. I but think I'll probably stop there. On I my think way. that sounds good. Honestly, now I ate lunch? it yesterday, but I kind of want some more. <laughs> Um, shout out to Jerry Novak in the chat. He has a 2,000 pound bull on the tail, uh, on the tail, um, and he's been chasing that around because he said <laughs> he's been getting a great cardio workout. Uh, coffee oh. in Copenhagen, a great way to dehydrate <laughs> yourself and die. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Deadly um, combo. Exactly. But uh, man, uh, health and uh, you, you're being humble about this. This I was trying to. You, she has been making a lot more healthy decisions um, about her food, and I'm very proud of Madison. Um, I'm be- I'm becoming a health snob now. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> um, but Madison has really. She's been making a lot more healthy decisions. Um, not that uh, we're all not, but uh, Madison has been like drinking a lot of water. No, I, I mean, I don't think that's true. I think uh, D- Jack has definitely been, uh, I mean, you're a big soda guy, aren't you, though? Um, not so much. I mean, I, I do it sometimes, uh, but generally I, generally I just drink black coffee. Yeah, I, um, that was the first thing that went in my diet was soda, and that was, I think, probably a year and a half, two years ago. Um, All soda. right, let's try Hope again here. Is she on? She is trying. I don't think oh, we can, man. I can't hear her again. I still can't I can't hear her again. Hear. Uh-oh. So there's something wrong. Uh-oh. There's something wrong. Um, at least we can see her face. At least we can see her face. <laughs> She's got the movie star glasses on. Yeah. I think I, I don't know where Hope is in the world right now. We were talking about this earlier. Hope is. Uh, Hope is. She might be in the Caribbean for all we know. The mystery Maybe continues. Judging by her surroundings, probably. Not I the cannot Caribbean. tell at all because all I can see is <laughs> do you, um, trees. Do you, do you see any? Do you see any um, palm like, trees there? I don't think there's any. She's palm sign trees. Li- She's doing sign language. She's sign language. Yeah, sign yeah. to us. What's the? I don't. Can you do Morse code? <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Just tap the screen. That's and, funny. Um, but soda, while she's getting in here, soda was definitely the first thing that went for me just because yeah, it's terrible for you. Hope will be the first person to tell you I that too. That it's literally like, it literally just eats the lining of your stomach away. It's really That's, bad. You it's know, awful. though, I don't really buy it because, you know, people <laughs> were like, I don't drink Coke because I can clean my car battery. Uh, you know, the, the corrosion that goes on a car battery with Coke, but you know, I clean my body with water every day. Right. So if you're using that line of logic, you can clean something with it. Then we should be pouring coke all over us. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Mm, Interesting. There we go. Okay. I like that point of view better because I love. I think you'd be squeaky (laughs) clean after you bathe in coke. You can't use vanilla coke. That's the devil. That is the devil. What about cherry? If it's also if it's diet, it gives you cancer. So. (laughs) Well, I don't like the diet. I don't like the diet. It tastes weird. It tastes weird. It does, yeah. But health in general, I think it's small steps towards a common goal. Um, yeah. I, I mean, think, yeah. you really do have to take those small steps. You know, if if you uh, um, eat French fries, you know, you could switch to something like... Uh, Salad. My, my wife makes kale chips. I've heard about oh, those. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just like vegetable chips in general. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. like zucchini stuff. Like, they have the zucchini. Um, Even fruit yeah. chips. Like, you always see, like, dried banana chips and stuff like that. It's supposed to be, like... Because people crave, a lot of times, it's not even that they crave, like, a potato chip or a they, fry. They crave the salt and the crunch. And the crunch, yeah. Exactly. And it's like, if you can find a way to replace that with, like, a slightly healthier option. Exactly. Yeah, what my wife does, uh, she has a, a book that's, uh, uh, what is it called? Um, Chocolate something Katie. Um, Chocolate Katie. Mm. But she, like, puts spinach and cupcakes and oh, stuff gosh. like that. Oh, What? Um, and honestly... I would be the first one to tell you that's disgusting, but it's it's actually really good. You've chocolate, tried a chocolate covered cup. Katie, chocolate covered Katie, chocolate covered Katie's. Okay, interesting. Yeah. I've never heard of that. Is the name of the book, and then she's got all these recipes where they're using off the wall ingredients for that kind of thing. Huh. Interesting. Can we that's hear Hope? Really- she, I think um, she's. She said in chat though she had a really weak connection. I think she's literally. I think is her husband probably driving her. I think it's probably she okay. So um, if they're driving, where I think I'm oh. not sure. Somewhere in the Midwest, I believe. Yeah, I think she's trying to talk. The yellow box is saying that it's she's saying talking. it's saying yeah. she's trying to, but trying so hard. Uh-huh. Um, that's all right. Um, <laughs> but uh, for sure, like health is definitely important, and I know. I've been taking mine more seriously. Madison has been taking hers more seriously. And Jack, you went on a diet like and lost like 40 pounds, didn't you, earlier this year? Yeah, I did. Uh, you know, it was one of those uh, New Year's things. Uh, it wasn't really a resolution per se, uh, but it was like, this is a good time to start losing weight. Right. And uh, so I, I started eating a lot more protein, uh, fewer carbs, and uh, uh, managing my fats better. And 
yeah, I lost 40 pounds with, without much hard work, to be honest. Because uh, I like meat. Same. That's why so. a keto diet was so easy for me. I could just eat as much meat and, and vegetables as I want. See, I could never do that. Love it. Water, I, dairy, mm, cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's good stuff. Dairy. Um, let's move on from health and wellness. I think Hope, um, we're going to miss Hope. Her connection's uh, not good enough. And that's okay because we just had a great conversation about health. We um, kind of included her. We, we, we touched did. on we a not, lot of topics we learned from her. Yeah, so. I was going to say. experts, that's for sure. I have definitely taken my health more seriously. Um, for sure. And another thing that I have done that we should mention before. Uh, we finish this up is that I have started stretching and I, I'm not oh going to, yeah. I'm not going to say that I've started doing yoga because I don't know the first flipping thing about yoga. And for all I know, this could be the flying crane. I don't know. Uh, but I have been stretching before all my workouts and after all my workouts, because um, I've just been hearing that a lot from a lot of professional athletes and, and just like uh, performance trainers, that stretching is very important. Um, and I do, I do a lot of boxing. I spend probably three or four days out of the week uh, working out doing boxing. And I have definitely hurt myself um, during a workout. But since I've started stretching, I've been all right. So one thing for sure that I've learned from Hope. So thanks for um, thanks for trying to come on today, Hope. And But definitely one thing I've learned from her, stretch before you work out. And honestly, if you can, stretch every morning. I've heard that uh, yeah. stretching every morning is a big deal. Matt, oh, Matt, it gets your blood flowing. That. Yeah, you've been doing that, haven't you? Oh, yeah. I like... Well, because I have really bad back problems, which is helping with the back shield, but also in combination with some yoga poses from Hope and just like general stretching. Like I've always kind of stretched in the morning just to kind of pop, you know, some things around, but right. it's definitely made a difference now. Yeah, for sure. Um, I feel awesome now. I feel great. Um, just trying to incorporate little movements. That's that's Hope's main that's thing too. Is like literally while just you're driving, while you're driving, do anything. Something. Yeah, yeah, do something. Stretch. Do something. So thank you, Hope, for all the all the knowledge that you just imparted to us telepathically. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes. Um, and honestly, if you want to learn more about Hope stuff, definitely go to hopesavara.com. Make sure you check out her show every Thursday. Um, and that is at I believe 9 p.m. CST or sorry 9 a.m. 9 a.m. CST. Um, and her show is called A Daily Dose of Hope, and her brand is uh, Mother Trucker Yoga, mothertruckeryoga.com. Anything that Hope's, uh, Hope puts out about yoga or wellness or health, you want to pay attention to, and she did a fantastic, um, uh, I guess what you call it, a conference or a, a talk at um, the Great American Trucking Show this year about health and wellness and staying, uh, staying active while you're driving. So thank you so much, Hope, um, for everything you do, and uh, definitely changing my life in the health uh, department, I think, same thing for Madison as well. So for sure. 